What are the five best ways to handle toxic people? They can drive you absolutely crazy. Toxic people are the worst, the worst. I'm gonna give you five ways to handle them in this video so that you can turn the situation around. Hey there, I'm Rebecca Zung. I am a narcissist negotiation expert. I'm also an attorney. I've seen it all. I've helped people shift the dynamic, shift the paradigm so that they can become the most toxic people, break free from that drama, trauma, and chaos, really take back their lives. And I want to help you do the same thing. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. I've written two best-selling books, Negotiate Like You Matter, Breaking Free, a Step-by-Step -step Divorce Guide. I want to make sure that you can become the most powerful person in the room and become not just against narcissists, toxic people, but just really feel your power really become that most elite version of yourself. Toxic people aren't going away anytime soon. When you can really become that most powerful version of yourself, it really doesn't matter when they're around. That's really when you become free. They're like a gnat flying around. That's when life becomes different for you. So how do you handle toxic people? Well, number one, you have to create boundaries, right? Step one, don't run. Step one, don't run. But number one is create boundaries. Create super strict boundaries because they've been conditioning you from the beginning. So when they've been conditioning you from the beginning, you've got to start creating these super strict boundaries so that you can start to heal. Your brain is like foggy and it's been turned into some kind of mush sometimes. And in order for you to start to heal, you've got to start creating boundaries that are really, really strict because they're going to look for ways in they're going to look for ways to have other avenues to get in. And so, you know, I often say have one form of communication, one form of, of input, you know, and I always say, have it be a way that you can actually document a date and timestamp, a way that they can't manipulate. Text messages can be manipulated. Conversations that are, you know, oral, like, talking, they can't be documented. So email is a, a, a perfect way to be documented because it really can't be manipulated the same way that text messages can be manipulated. So one way of handling a toxic person is to create boundaries, create super strict boundaries. All right. So that's number one. Number two is to pick your battles. They often they give you all kinds of battles, all kinds of battles. And you, you want to engage in every single one of those battles. Don't get involved in every single one. You know, you want to end up defending yourself. You do want to defend yourself. Don't try to defend yourself. You know, when you defend yourself, you actually end up giving them that power. When you do that, you're basically saying there's an issue. So don't, don't do that. Pick your battles. You don't have to engage in every single one that they throw out there for you, right? Sometimes there are battles that you want to engage in. Sometimes there are not. And that actually brings me to number three, as far as a way to handle a toxic person. And that is don't take the bait. You don't have to take every single piece of bait that they throw out there either, because they will try to engage and, and get you to take bait. And, and part of the reason they do that, not just for narcissistic supply, which they do that too, 
because narcissists enjoy the process of triggering you. They enjoy the process of getting under your skin. They enjoy the process of watching you become emotional. They enjoy the process of manipulating you. They, of course, get off on that. They get a high from that. They get narcissistic supply from that. It's a form of enjoyment for them. You know, regular reasonable people aren't motivated by that, but narcissists are, toxic people are. So you don't, you don't want to engage in it for that reason, but they also use your reaction against you. They go, look, there's the crazy one. There's the emotional one. While they stand over there calm and collected. And so there you are and you go, wait a minute, you're the one who was like that. I was only reacting to you. You were the one who was like that in the first place. You were the one who started this thing. And they go, oh no, no, we, we're in this. And you're like, no, I, I was only being this way because you were this way. And then you're in it. Then you're there. Now, you cannot take that bait. You can't go down that path. I know you want to, but you don't have to do that. Don't take that bait. And, you know, that's how you become ready to slay. And if you are so ready to slay, I want you to put that in the comments right now. Ready to slay. Ready to slay. Put that in the comments right now, because that's how you handle toxic people. Ready to slay right now. And that's, you know, what I talk about with slay. Strategy, leverage, anticipate what they're going to do. Be two steps ahead of them and focus on you, your position, your case. Anticipate what they're going to do and be two steps ahead of them. Anticipate that they're going to try to give you bait and don't take it. So that's number three way to handle a toxic person. Number four, you got to have an agenda or a plan. That's one of the ways that you're going to handle a toxic person. You got to have an agenda or a plan. And one of the ways that you can do that is, you know, when you know you're going to have to go and talk to them, you know that they're going to want to bait you. You know that you're going to get emotional. You know that it's going to be hard for you. You know that your heart's going to start pounding. You know that it's going to take your breath away. You know that it's triggering for you. Have an agenda or a plan when you go to speak to them and maybe even a time limit. That way, when it goes beyond the scope of what you're going to be talking about, or it reaches that time limit, you can just say, hey, oh no, we're sticking to this topic. Or if it reaches the time limit, you can just say, hey, I've got another engagement. I got to go. We're happy to pick this up another time. All right. I'm looking forward to talking to you the next time. Fine. But you know, you're in and out and it allows you to start feeling like you are taking control of the situation. Okay. So that's the next one, have an agenda or a plan. And if you are getting ready to negotiate with a toxic person, you're getting ready to negotiate with anybody, anybody, even if it's not a toxic person, make sure to grab my free Crush My Negotiation prep worksheet, crushmydeal.com. Go to crushmydeal.com, get it. It's a free ebook, 15 pages, crushmydeal.com. Go grab it right now. You must have this. I've had people win their entire deals on this thing. So grab it. It's totally free. Crushmydeal.com. Get it right now. Number five, the number five way to handle a toxic person is what I call fluff or favor, vomit later. You're going to fluff up their ego, you know, like they're, you're fluffing up a pillow. You know, you give them a little something, something that they want so that you get a little something, something that you want in return. Fluff up their ego, give them a little something that they want so you get a little something that you want in return. And how that looks is, you know, can you handle resolving the QuickBooks this month. You are so good at it. You're so smart. It'll be done so much more efficiently if you do it. 
then if I do it, I'm terrible at it. Don't say anything good about yourself because they don't want to hear that. So you get something done that you want done. And I say fluff or favor vomit later because, you know, if you need to feel like you need to go vomit later, go do that. But then you got something done that you wanted done and they got what they wanted, which is their ego got fluffed up. So fluff or favor vomit later. That's number five way to handle a toxic person. You know, they do love to bait you. They do love to get under your skin. They do love to provoke you. I have another whole video on this called Five Terrifying Ways That Narcissists Love to Manufacture Chaos and Provoke You, which you definitely need to go check out that video next. So make sure you go put that on in your agenda to go check out that video next. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification bell because you need to make sure you have all the tools in your hands to turn this around, become the most powerful person against narcissists, finally go on the offensive. I also have a free Facebook group that you definitely want to join. Make sure you join that. It's a support group. Got so many people in there supporting each other. Make sure you do that. If you don't have access to support and help and therapy, I do have a partnership with BetterHelp. You can go to betterhelp.com forward slash Rebecca Zung and get access to the help and support that you need. We do receive commissions on that. It doesn't cost you any extra. I want you to have the help and support and access to help that you need. We only recommend services that we trust. And remember that today is a great day to start negotiating your best life. This is the day. All right. And I will see you in that next video. Remember five terrifying ways that narcissists manufacture chaos to bait you and provoke you. So thanks for joining me today. And I'll see you in that next video.